Welcome back to Trusting Nose with the man that likes to smell good. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling da da noisy, just smelling. So, we got a Zara, the most wanted. This is one of the reasons why I had to stop blind buying. Let's get into it. I'm ready, hope you're ready. So, let's go. For Azara, the most wanted, according to Fragrantica, the notes consist of cardamom, toffee, and amberwood. So this isn't a review, this is just some quick thoughts. And yeah, like, I'm not really feeling this fragrance. I was gonna come on camera, like, bust like one, two jokes, whatever, say that it smells like bum bum and stuff, but it, it doesn't, it's just, it's okay, but it's just so forgettable. So let's get into it. So it's basically, and the opening, the opening's okay. I'll give it that, the opening's all right. So you get this like designer smelling spiciness with something sweet and you get that wanted DNA running through the opening. But as it dries down now, it's just, it's just a bit meh. So you get almost like a sweet deodorant. And if I'm talking about like sweet deodorant or like a sweet body spray, it kind of smells like links um dark temptation or if you're outside the uk it smells like um axe i think that's what it's called yeah axe so quality wise if i'm comparing it to like a deodorant a sweet deodorant quality wise i don't think it's there i don't think it's the best and of course it's the designer fragrance designer fragrances they tend to like follow like the same like dna so this is like reminiscent to Strong With You, but it's not as good as Strong With You. And if I wanna get this type of DNA, I might as well just get Strong With You absolutely. I might as well get it done right. It's roughly around the same price. Actually, you know what? This is usually on like a discount. So I'll give it that. Yeah, like the price point isn't too crazy or anything like that, but it's just, it smells cheap. It's not rememberable. And it's not even the best at what it does. Like, why would you get this? Not in a bad way, like. So, the way this was like marketed online or the way like reviews were portraying it online, they were saying that, oh, this is like amazing, like compliment gets our super gourmand, toffee, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I've smelled toffee before. I, I eat toffee all the time, yeah. You can't. You can't smell toffee and say this smells like toffee. This just smells like sweet synthetic and synthetic isn't a bad thing, yeah? Synthetic, like synthetic fragrances I like is for example, is like Molecule One. Like, I think the eccentric molecules did their thing throughout that whole like molecule range or molecular range or whatever, but this is just like synthetic, but not in a good way. But I don't know, like I'm just in a little bit like two minds because I've got to, you've got to take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. For example, like, I have a channel reviewing fragrances. I'm very much into fragrances. I very much like sample fragrances all the time, niche designer, indie. So my nose is a little bit different to like the average consumer. So where I can smell like, well, where I can pick out certain notes and I can smell something and decide or tell you whether it's cheap or not, the average consumer won't be able to do that. And if you're into like people pleasing, if you're into compliments, this doesn't do, it doesn't do too bad. Like it's, it's okay, but it's just like, you want to smell interesting. Like compliments can't be the only thing you're after. Like this is, it's not really like rememberable. It does the job, but it's not really rememberable. And yeah, like, like I said, like I don't mind like fragrances like following like this designer DNA, as long as they do it really, really well, as long as it's like high quality to the point where I can't deny it, like that's, it's, it's actually good. Like it doesn't smell bad, but it's just meh. And I think as well, I think that's, that I've noticed that I don't really like is the fact that when the fragrance is kind of sweet and it's got this like deodorant DNA on the other side and you mesh it together, it doesn't really work. I think it works when the fragrance has got like this like citric, fresh, aquatic nature 
and then you marry it with like that deodorant smell. For example, uh, Razazi Awas or Chanel Allure um, Sport. Yeah, when you mesh those two together, it works. But when you do it in the sweet sense, for example, another example, Carolina Herrera Bad Boy. I don't think it's a bad fragrance, but it's got that like deodorant lynx type of smell underneath it and it's got that sweetness there and you put it together it just doesn't work so yeah yeah now now that i'm just like articulating my thoughts right now sweet like sweetness mixed in with deodorant i don't i don't really mess with that too much and another thing as well is just like just a little bit disappointed because like i said like the reviews were just saying like, oh this is like that kind of like a good like gourmand if i'm looking for a good design or gourmand I'll probably go for Paco Rabanne One Mini and Lucky. I think that fragrance is really, really, really good. Done well. I don't think it gets enough like hype on YouTube or whatever. But this does. And it's not in the same ballpark. So I don't know. I don't know. But these are just my thoughts, yeah. This is all like jumbled up and everything. This is just me just coming on camera, just giving you like the truth. But yeah, I've just got to be transparent with you, man. Like this. This ain't it. Okay, not that it's not it, but it's not, it's not that great, man. I'll be honest with you, it's not that great. I don't even think it's the best out of the line as well. Like, I think the newest one that came out, I think it's the Parfum. I think that one's the best out of the three. Actually, there's another one that came out, but anyway, yeah. This isn't even in top two when it comes to the wanted line. So, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It will be much appreciated. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Trusted Knows. And you know what I'm going to say. More videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.